Hi ladies, now welcome back to my channel. My name is Makoa, aka The Boys Doctor. I'm a medical doctor, an author, and your favorite relationship girl. If you're new to my channel, welcome. This is my real face. I love having you here. And if you've been here before, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking my video, subscribing. I love you, you already know that. Today we're going to talk about something very important self-worth. Let's dive in. Self-worth is simply the way you feel about yourself, the inner feeling of yourself, how you think of yourself. Now, it's different from self-esteem because self-esteem is tied to your achievements, it's tied to what you do what you've achieved in life while self-worth is self-worth stems from inside is your sense of value concerning yourself and your worth as a person okay now there are there is high self-worth and there is low self-worth today i'm going to be focusing on low self-worth because if you have high self-worth you might not be watching this video or you won't have to for it so People with low self-worth tend to be overly critical about themselves. They judge themselves harshly for every little thing they do. They never feel good enough. They are quick to judge themselves. They set high bars for themselves. Even when they smash these goals, they never take time to appreciate themselves for where they are or what they've attained. They criticize themselves, thereby tearing themselves into bits, into pieces, tearing themselves down. Now, again, people with low self-worth always seek validation from other people. They want to be liked by people. So they break themselves into pieces. They bend over just to please other people. They burn up to keep other people warm. They do not set boundaries. They don't know how to say no. They are people pleasers. They always want to please you because they want you to like them. Let's pause for a moment. I want you to know that everybody will not like you and that's okay. The truth is when they come before you, they are going to make you feel good. Oh, I like you. I do this, I do that. But they don't like you and if you keep bending your back allowing people to work over you just to be light you will exhaust yourself you will keep judging yourself and you're never ever going to be good enough and the third thing about people with low self-worth is they never feel good enough now this one comes to play in relationships when when they when they find when a man comes to them a man that likes them comes to them and is asking them out because they are used to judging themselves harshly and criticizing themselves they don't feel good enough for this man or the man will be too good to be true these are two extremes you don't feel good enough for him and he is too good to be true because you have not estimated yourself as somebody that deserves good things in life as somebody that should get things that are beautiful you just feel like bottom pots nine belong to you i want you to come out of that league today and that's why i'm having this conversation with you so how do we deal with this how do you come out of low self-worth i want you to first know that you belong to a king the creator of the universe is your father he created you in his image and likeness so stop judging yourself. Stop criticizing yourself. Stop comparing yourself to others. Social media has made it feel like your self-worth should be tied to achievements in quotes. If you have a million followers on Instagram, your self-worth is blooming. Oh, I am valuable. Oh, I create valuable content. Or your account balance is green. That's okay. But these things are ephemeral. They will fizzle out. You can go broke. Instagram can disable your account and you lose all your followers. So we do not base our self-worth on what we have. 
we do not base our self-worth on the number of coaching clients we have, on the number of people we're tutoring, on the salary that is paid in our jobs. These things are good, but they are not determinants of who you are. I also want to tell you, low self-worth stems from childhood traumas. If you grew up never feeling good enough, if you're not treated properly, if you had abusive parents or any form of abuse growing up, you will always grow up with that feeling of not good, being good enough. And it's important you address these traumas and deal with them if you're going to increase your self-worth. So finally, how then do we increase our self-worth? The first key to increasing your self-worth is self-awareness you have to be aware of who you are what you're going through and point down to what you're feeling a lot of us neglect the way we feel because we feel it's okay to be down no it's not okay to always be down in fact most sicknesses most ailments do not stem from diabetes, hypertension, genetic diseases. They stem from low self-worth. When you're feeling low about yourself, you get depressed. Little wonder mental issues are all over the place. These can still be traced to that low self-worth. And the key is self-awareness. Calling yourself suitable and understanding how you're feeling per time. If you understand how am I feeling and why am I feeling like this? You can sleep out of it. The second way is self-compassion. Gone are the days of criticizing yourself from the sea. All you have is you. You are all you've got. So why treat yourself harshly? Why compare yourself to other people? Why judge yourself? Why criticize yourself in ways that tear you down? Why? I want you to extend the same grace, compassion, and kindness you extend to others to yourself. Most of the time, you break yourself into pieces to please other people. You're there for them. You do this for them, you never say no, you are always there for them. But you're never there for yourself. Because by the time you're done extending grace to other people, being kind to other people, you are exhausted. And there is nothing left of you. I want you to show some compassion to yourself. Be graceful to you. Be kind to you. By knowing that it's okay to be below it's okay not to smash all the goals you've set for the year. Let me explain this to you. A lot of people with low self-worth try to overcompensate by attaining perfection. They set these goals. They smash them. They're in these meetings. They're in that meeting. They are always busy, busy, busy. Now, these people are not busy because they love work. No. They are busy because they find their self-worth in these things they are busy because they their self-worth is boosted when they achieve a goal and they are hailed by people oh you're doing well that is where their their self-worth is but no i'm trying to tell you that your self-worth is in you it's an inner work and you have to do it okay so be kind to yourself and the third way to increase your self-worth is forgive yourself. I will keep preaching this gospel. If you do not forgive yourself, you're not going to forgive people that hurt you. And these people that hurt you are the background of why you're feeling like this. If a man abused you in the past, usually your self-worth is down. Every time you think about him, you will feel the same way you felt when you were with him. So if you forgive yourself, it is easy to let go of this man and of course let go of the hurt he caused you and move on. Are we still together? So are you going to forgive yourself? Now, I will repeat this thing, you are all you've got and you need to treat yourself with the same grace, 
love and kindness you extend to other people. And finally, I need you to be there for you. Be there for you. Stop burning up just to warm other people. Everybody will not like you and that's okay. But you have to be there for yourself. Practice meditation, yoga. Try to live in the present. Feel your butt on this seat. Feel your hair on your skin. Feel your rings on your fingers. Feel your earrings on your ears. Stop traveling while you're in the present. Live in the present. All you have is now. Enjoy it. Live in it. See, when we're not living in the present, we're thinking of the future things. Okay, let me explain this to you. While I'm here having this conversation with you, I'm supposed to enjoy this time with you. But if you're not living in the present, instead of having this conversation and thinking about you that I'm talking to, I'm thinking about dinner. Oh, who will go to the market? Oh, live in the present. Stop thinking of what will happen tomorrow. There is this favorite um, children's song I learned while growing up. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will worry about itself. It's in the Bible. Do not worry about your life. What you will eat or drink is life not more important than food. And your body more than clothes. Look at the beds of the earth. They do not worry. No store away in bands. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will worry about itself. <sighs> the message is passed. I hope you grabbed it. You already know I love you, and I'll be waiting for you. Meanwhile, check my previous video on how to boost your self-esteem. I love you. Bye.